Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Tuplex. And today we are going to make hay bales. And we're going to continue our canola harvest. Hopefully get that done today as well. So, um, the grass has been cut. It's been tetted, turned into hay. And uh, it's been windrowed. So we just have to get out the baler and bale it. Uh, before we do that, I'm going to fire up the harvester and get a worker on that so we can continue getting that job done um, looks like we're well we're about halfway done with this field and then we still have all of uh, field 11 to harvest as well so uh, and we've got 22,711 so far so I think we'll be getting a pretty good harvest out of this one all right, so let's go put the rake away and get our baler and start baling up the hay. And I think it would be really, really cool if we could get enough money from this to be able to afford our cow pen, but we shall see. All right, so I'm gonna park these tools here just cause I'm running out of room. Um, I think the other thing I'd like to do, let's, um, let's see if we can retexture some of this stuff. All right. Well, hang on a sec before I do anything, <laughs> let me just save in case it comes out horribly wrong. All right. So I want painting and I better show my keys here. All right. So here's the painting tool. And what I want to do is I want to, I want to paint over this grass here. So I'm going to change the shape to square. Okay. And then ground type, I want to change that looks like the matching concrete. Yes. Very nice. And it looks like we can make this square smaller. All right. I like that. That looks much better. Uh, what about over here? Uh, over here, I think I'm basically satisfied. Um, we might make this concrete as well. I'll just leave that alone for now. I think that's enough. What did that end up costing me? Let's see. Where would that show up? Wage payment? No. Isn't there one for, whoops, isn't there one for new buildings? Construction costs. All right, so that was 472 euro to lay some concrete down. I suppose if this was, if this was real life, that would probably be a pretty reasonable cost for that. All right, let's get some bailing done. That does look a lot better. Alrighty. So we need to turn it on. Well, first let's unfold it, turn it on, lower the pickup. There's the first one. So 
So it doesn't look like I'm going to get too many bales off of this field. the harvester. Whoops. Alright, I'm going to stop it here. There we go. So I can get it emptied before it starts the next row. Yeah, so it looks like I might only get eight or ten bales off of that field. Not quite as many as I was hoping for. I think what would be nice to do would be to buy field 19 and plant that with grass. That's 174 grand. That plus field 20 wouldn't be too bad. Okay. Let's turn off that. There we go. And harvest. Keep it going. All right. So we almost have a full tipper. I think this weekend I'm going to hook up my wheel and my head tracking and do a couple episodes like that. I, I do kind of miss it. I do like the convenience of this game controller, but it's not quite the same experience. Like when you got the wheel and head tracking, um, I tend to use the in-cab view quite a lot more. Uh, it's not quite as it's not quite as easy this way. It's nice to be able to look around freely. All right, let's see how many is that so far. That's five, six. Okay, yeah, maybe it'll be closer to twelve. We'll see. Um, but I'm thinking it's probably not going to be enough where I'll want to sell any of the bales. You know, I would say if I get more than, more than like 16 of them, whoops, wrong button, then I'd be tempted to wrap some and sell them. But I think for this many, I might as well just hang on to them.
because I'm not really sure what the rate of consumption of the food is in this version of the game. Um, in previous versions, if I had 20 cows, you know, um, 12 or 15 bales would last quite a long time. Uh, but from the little, the small bit of playing with animals that I've done so far in 19, uh, it seems like they do consume significantly more food than they did in previous iterations. And the animals also cost less, which is nice. But then, uh, you know, it seems like some of that cost has been transferred into the upkeep, feeding, and so forth. And I think that's fine, too. Um, hopefully the output <laughs> has increased um, alongside with that. Oh, man. That really stinks. So close to a full bale. Can I empty it? No, I cannot. Okay, well. <laughs> oh, you know what? I've got some grass here. Let's see what happens if I pick up this grass. If it'll, if I can pick it up. Yeah. Okay. So maybe I can cut a little bit of grass just to finish off this bale. I'm still short. Okay, I think this load ought to fill me up here. And I think rather than dumping it into the silo, I'll just go ahead and sell what I've got. And I'll just sell it as I collect it. That way I don't have to do two or three trips in a row at the end. Give us some variety here. Okay, and we're full. All right, what are the prices for canola? Looks like the train station mill is the place to go, which is down here. Uh, let me visit because I want to make sure that I can get in here on a truck. Yeah, okay. So we don't we don't have to deliver it by train, although we could. <clears throat> Wonder where's the nearest train station. Um, yeah, there's a railroad silo and there's another one. So neither of those is actually they're both farther away. All right, so I'm going to go. Yeah, we'll go past the barn and then down and turn left into the mill. <clears throat> and let's see what we get. We got 31,000 at about 1,200 per thousand liters. That should give us 30, somewhere close to 40,000 for this load. And I would estimate that we've probably got 
Oh, I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? We've probably got about another two loads on those fields. Let me make sure this is going to get me where I want to go. Okay. Well, we'll take a different route this time. I'll go... We'll go past the shop. We'll go west at the roundabout, and then we'll drive through town. Couple new mods released today. Uh, we got the Fent 900 Black Beauty, which is a really cool looking tractor that I think I'm probably going to want to try. Uh, and then there was a big manure spreader, which if we get a lot of cows, we might make use of at some point. Okay, I wanted to go to the right. Yeah, there we go. I've never been this way before. So we'll get to see what the town looks like. Bunch of people walking robotically down the sidewalk. All the shops rather dead looking. I think these might be zombies. I'm going to stay in the tractor. I'm not getting out. Okay. And then we go up this little, uh, <laughs> incredibly dangerous looking driveway. Try not to drive off the side of it. All right, let's get paid. Forty-one three seventy. Okay, that's even better than I expected. Quite happy with that. Uh, how the heck do we get out of here? I think I can get out of the parking lot over here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, uh, should I go back the same way? Um. Yeah, I suppose that probably is the shortest path. Pardon me, guys. <laughs> Watch out for those zombies. Let's see if I can overtake before the turn. Yes. Just like Valentino Rossi. Okay, and then we'll go to the right. That looks like withered crop on that field. And I think our harvester is probably almost stopped. Yep, there he goes. This field to the right of us looks like it would be an interesting challenge with that steep slope that it's on and it's at a 45 degree angle I did find out uh, from playing on Ravenport that uh, the workers will hired workers will operate at a 45 degree angle they don't always have to go straight up and down or straight left and right okay we'll wait there let's 
Let's see if I can do this without a collision from this angle. There we go. So I think what I'll do is I'll throw a mower on the front of the New Holland and see if I can just pick up just a tiny bit more grass so that I can finish off that last bale. It'd be kind of a shame to have it sitting there. Okay. All right, so we're almost done with this part of the field. Get our worker rehired. All right, yeah, I only need 160 more liters. So let's get the mower. So unfold, power it up, lower it, power that up. I think that one's already lowered. There we go. We got a little bit of grass there. Pick that up too. Okay, good. Yeah, so I think next time I'll I'll see if I can just cut that whole area. Um, I won't be able to use the worker to cut the part that's not a field, so I'll have to do it myself. And if I'm going to do that again, I might want to see if we can afford the um, the other part of this mower set. But I'm not going to do that until we get our cows. That's the first priority. Gah. I'm really overcorrecting a lot here. Okay. Now let's get our bale trailer and go pick them up. And while we have it, we'll go get those, those two rogue silage bales that are hanging out in the other field. Yeah, so these four will give me a full load, and then we'll have two more, plus the silage bales. So that'll be enough to feed the cows fairly well to begin with. We might even consider leasing a mixing wagon to make TMR since I will have all the ingredients to do so. Um, I just don't know if it's really worth it. You know, it gets you 25% gets you more productivity, but you know, when you only have 20 cows, I'm not sure how much that 25% is really going to get us. Okay, that looks like a fine place. 
There we go. And let's go get the rest. Alright, I'm not going to be able to do this in cab. The... The head movement with the controller is just a little bit too slow <laughs> for that sort of thing. Okay. Okay, good. And we have the correct side of the harvester facing out, which is always nice. That way we can collect while the harvester keeps working. I'll be happy to upgrade my harvester at some point too. It'll be nice to have something with a bigger tank in it. Um, in my other game, I got the... My other game. I, I'm playing a game on Ravenport, just, you know, on my own. And uh, on that game, I spent a lot of extra money to get this Massey. Um... And it's got almost twice the tank capacity, which is which is really nice. The header is not a lot bigger. Uh, let's see, the header for that one. All right, the one I have is five meters. Uh, that header is seven point six. Okay, well I guess it's fifty percent bigger. So that could be a good upgrade to make. Actually, um, I wonder what it's worth. Ugh. I would get 58, yeah. I'd get about 75, 80,000 for what I have. So <laughs> we'd still need about another 200, 175. Whoops. So I think we won't be doing that for a while. I think we'll do soybeans again after this crop. Those soybeans and canola seem to pay the most. Um, and I don't need any straw. So I'll probably just do soybeans and canola until we start running low on straw. And then I'll do wheat or barley or oats to get more straw when it's required. Okay, and I'll go ahead and back this right up to the hay, so we'll have two silage bales sitting in front of it. Once we start doing this in greater quantities, I'll have separate stacks. Let's try this again. This part is a bit of a delicate operation. You don't want to knock your stacks over. I mean, 
mean, it won't hurt anything. It'll just be kind of a mess. And I like it when my farm is nice and tidy. That looks good. Don't want to do it too close either because they sometimes when they drop, they bump into whatever's next to them. Okay. So we can go park this again. And I think we'll want to... I think we'll want to fertilize the grass again. Because if I'm not mistaken, it will still have... It should still have the first stage of fertilizer if, if I understand how this works correctly. Yeah, and it does. So whenever you harvest grass, you give it one more dose of fertilizer and it's, and it's ready to go. Um, and it seems that it doesn't get weeds either, which is rather nice. What is that? That's lime. Okay. Why is that out there? I must have, uh, I must have run into it at some point. Let's see if I can get this out of the way. There we go. Okay. So let's get our sprayer. I'll put the front weight on. Um, I could also use the spreader. Why don't we use the spreader this time? I think it actually has fertilizer in it. Yeah, it does. Quite a lot, actually. So yeah, we'll use this up. Now, the nice thing about this spreader is that it's, uh, it's a bit wider than the sprayer, and you can drive a lot faster with it. So you can go, you can go 20 kph with the spreader versus uh, I think 14 with the sprayer. So I think this is really a better way to go when you have a lot of field to cover. The only problem I have with it is it's hard to see, it's hard to estimate where it's going to go. Um, see how I missed that bit over there. Because with the sprayer, at least, you can see exactly what your width is going to be just by looking at the sprayer arms. But with this one, it's uh, you kind of have to guess, at least until GPS mod comes out, which I hope will be soon. I do miss it. If you've never used it before, um, GPS was a mod that where you could you could basically set the width of your tool and it would give you a straight line down your field as well as indicators that show where the edge of the of your tool would be um, and then you could turn on auto guidance or auto steer um, and when you engage that then your your vehicle would just follow the line which kind of simulates how a lot of field work is done in real life using GPS. And then when you get to the end of your row, you just turn it around and start going down the next lane and, uh, and you get really good coverage with no overlap. You don't miss any spots. It's pretty nice. And so when you're using something like a spreader, you can use that to see where you need to go to, to get the right coverage without missing anything or wasting any fertilizer. The only problem with it is it's, it takes one more element out of field work, <laughs> which is the steering. And uh, so it's not, not quite as interesting that way. All right, so that field is fully fertilized now. Uh, looks like I need to lime. 
the spot that we plowed in between fields and then I'll trying to decide if I want to use the I don't think I'm going to use well yeah I'll use the spreader for the first application of fertilizer before I seed and then after we've seeded and we get our first growth stage then I'll use the sprayer on the growing crop and that's how we'll get our two stages so I think for now I'll just leave the I'll just leave the spreader connected and I can I can fertilize this strip down the middle as well and then at some time before we do the seeding I'll spread some lime on it okay well that is going to do it for this episode hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions or comments please let me know I will see you next time Take care. Bye-bye.